Here is another surprise sneaker for this year. Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, here is another surprising basketball sneaker that came out of nowhere. This is the Puma TRZ Blaze Court in this black, orange, and neon green colorway. So it's a pretty basic colorway. And I actually bought it over at puma.com.ph for all of you who are here in the Philippines who are interested to try out different brands like Puma. So that's the place to go actually. I think the puma.com is being handled by Zalora Philippines. You can actually also check Zalora app if you can find the Puma TRC Blaze card. So guys, this sneaker actually was under my radar. I actually wasn't looking forward in reviewing another Puma sneaker soon because the last Puma sneaker that I reviewed was the Mellows. And to be in all honesty, the Mellows was kind of just okay in my opinion. It wasn't like a surprising and really something that I was really impressed with. Unlike the Puma All Pro, which as you know, if you've been following this channel, I have two pairs of those and they perform really awesome on court. The traction of that was really good. The opera was really good. Even the cushion was really good. So this one actually was recommended to me by some of my subscribers already. They told me to try this out because they were awesome. They reminded them of the Puma All Pro with this. So with that face, that got me curious. So I got the pair and here is my performance review of this. So let's talk about the upper material first, which is the part of the sneaker that I wasn't too impressed with. So the upper is made out of this mesh material, which is pretty standard. It's really soft to the touch. No breaking time needed and some synthetic leather on the side panels of this one. And as you can see here, this neon stripes here also looks like a Puma logo. But what it does also is to add support to the lateral part of the sneaker. And also this orange strip here. So actually this one, the green one, is made out of felt material. While the orange part is made out of plastic that is kind of soft. It's not too hard but it gives you the support that you need especially when you're tightening up the laces. This kind of hugs your foot around your ankle more to give you a better lockdown feel to the sneaker. And also this plastic piece also serves as a heel cup to the sneaker and also a design to the sneaker. But there's an internal heel cup to the sneaker too. And as for the material around the heel, it's made out of a different kind of mesh. It's more fused and around the top of the heel it's the same material used in the forefoot and tongue of the sneaker and the tongue is pretty standard and what i said initially was i wasn't too impressed with the material because in terms of support it was good but i think it can have a little bit more improvement maybe they added a stronger material for the synthetic leather because when i was doing lateral cuts with the sneaker i didn't feel that confident doing side steps because i feel like i'm about to tip because mainly the forefoot part of the sneaker is not as wide as the other sneakers that are out now in the market i have here my way of weight 10 and if i compare it with it look how how wide the way of weight 10 is and the way of weight 10 is kind of on the standard part to how wide the way of weight 10 is protruding here this white part so with the trc blaze cord it's not as wide so if you have a very narrow four foot base i would like the material to have more support and stronger material so that when i'm doing side steps and lateral movements i won't feel like my foot is falling off the footbed and another thing that they could have done is they made the sidewall of the cushion higher so that it wraps your foot more and hugs your foot more so that you'll be more confident when you're doing lateral cuts. So that's my main thing that I don't like about the sneaker that when I was doing lateral cuts, I could feel the material stretching a bit, going laterally. So I think it needs a little bit of getting used to, but for me, I'm constantly reviewing sneakers and changing sneakers from day to day and even for the same night I changed two sneakers and 
that's the first thing that I really felt or I really noticed about the TRCs. So hopefully they could come out with other offers, like a special offer. I think this is being endorsed by Mikey, uh, the Instagram sensation that it's just, I think it's just in college or high school. So he's currently wearing this and maybe the Mikey colorway would have more special upper, maybe a premium leather, a harder leather, or a more fused panel here in the forefoot. So I hope that happens because that's the one thing that I don't like about the sneaker. So going back to the lacing system, it has a traditional lacing system and it's stitched to the footbed by a bit around the mid part of the tongue so that it doesn't move from side to side which is good and as for the laces you can see the first two loops are connected to the side panel which helps out in the lockdown support but the material is still soft so your foot is kind of still sliding off the footbed even though this is connected to the lacing system and as for the third lace loop they have the strap that is going down for midfoot support here so it kind of hugs your foot which is really nice on this one um, it's minimal but it kind of gives you a very nice one-to-one -one feel to your foot and that is one thing that i like about this too for the upper that it kind of feels like it's hugging your foot really well uh, but the only thing is the lateral support issue that i have with this one the tongue is pretty comfortable it's very well padded and moving on to the back part of the sneaker the heel part there's a heel cup here internal heel cup that goes until here so it pretty much covers the entire heel which is good heel containment lockdown is really nice on the trc's plus it's nicely padded inside although it's not too pronounced but when i was play hooping with this my heel containment was really nice on this trc's as for the insole it comes with just a ordinary ortholite insole nothing too fancy and now going to the highlight of the sneaker which a lot of people have been raving about this puma trc is because of the trinomic cushion that comes with it so the trinomic cushion that was used here is similar to the other running sneaker from puma which i've heard good stories or reviews about the trinomic cushion because it's bouncy I think this is nitro injected foam. The first court that I hooked with this was on the Panaflex court. And the cushion was really nice. That's not wood, so it's not that forgiving. I was really impressed with the cushion. It's bouncing the forefoot at the same time, a very nice impact protection on the heel. So you're not too close off to the ground, but still a very responsive cushion foam. And with that, I think it's pretty responsive. So like I said in the beginning, it was kind of high and it was kind of narrow. I just wish that the materials in the forefoot was strong enough to support a narrow sneaker and a higher or thicker cushion setup like for this one. But for the trinomic cushion, heel to toe transition was really nice. When I was running up and down the floor with this several times, it felt really nice. A very comfortable ride when you're running up and down the floor. And I think this sneaker is more geared towards to those types of players who doesn't go side to sides a lot, but they sprint up and down the court a lot. And who usually who does a lot of fast breaks. And this is a sneaker that you will like. But if you are someone who's a pretty shifty guard, who attacks really low to the ground, does a lot of crossovers like Kyrie, Kyrie style, um, I wouldn't recommend this sneaker for you because like I said, the foam is a little bit thicker and it's kind of narrow around the forefoot part so there's a little bit of instability on the sneaker now moving on to the outsole of the sneaker it has a very nice rubber pattern multi-directional rubber pattern and if you can see the blades are really thin so i wouldn't recommend to be used outdoor but in an indoor setting it was performing really well it was gripping really hard and even on a moist floor it was still gripping hard so like i've said if you see uh if you see an outsole pattern similar like this very thin and it's pliable very flexible it's almost will be very good in terms of indoor courts and it will perform nicely on moist floors which 
we usually have here right now because it's rainy season here in the Philippines so a lot of moist floor all around if it rains and if the court is open like like in a village court most probably the court will be moist it will be slippery so this type of traction pattern will be good for those types of floors so that's what I really like about the sneaker so like the Puma All Pros which really has very good traction if you like the traction on the Puma All Pros you will like the traction on this one there's a cutout in the middle so it gives a little bit more flexibility to the upper and the forefoot part when you're running up and down the floor and it's an added design and it lessens the weight of the sneaker and in the midfoot there's a plastic piece for midfoot support and stability so it doesn't over twist and it kind of gives you a little spring back when you're running up and down the floor so that's a nice thing so speaking of the weight let's weigh them out for a US 10 and a half this is 380 grams so it is a very light sneaker even on hand it's a pretty light sneaker and yes I said 10 and a half so when one of my subscribers told me it was available at puma.com.ph I went there and the size 11 was gone and this is the only colorway left that has US 10.5 so I gambled because I was looking at the upper it looks pretty forgiving it's soft so I gambled and I gambled correctly and it fit me very well and actually I like it better especially with this kind of upper that is pretty flimsy I like my foot to be really hugging the material and being snug around the sneaker and it didn't feel any discomfort around my toes so my toes has a little bit one fourth inch space compared to the usual one half inch space that I have one half inch is usually like that but with this one it's in the middle of my nail already but still it's pretty comfortable I didn't have uh, dead nails after playing with this so I would suggest if you're a regular footer like me um, you could go down half a size but if you're a wide footer go two to size because wide footers I think you would like this too because it's pretty wide foot friendly it has a lot of room around the midfoot look how high it comes up here and there's enough space around the toe area too so this is a wide footer friendly sneaker so for the price of the trc blaze court this is 6500 pesos here in the philippines so there was three colorways i think all of them was almost the big size from 11 from 10 to 10 up to 12 they're currently sold out so i don't know if puma will be replenishing the stocks and if ever watch out on the other puma stores you can go to the puma stores but i haven't seen this in the puma store yet i'll let you know so follow me on instagram so i'll get, usually give updates on if i go to the mall and do some store checking i usually let you know what's available in store so follow me there i am mark chess so this is the puma trc blaze court this is my performance review of this so overall I like how it performs it's a solid sneaker I especially love the cushion of this one it's very bouncy it's a very nice impact protection in the heel traction is on point very good traction indoor dusty floor and moist floor this is a very dependable sneaker and it's a pretty budget sneaker to have and the only downside here that I don't like is it's a pretty narrow sneaker plus the upper it's not as supportive as I want it to be. So that's it on my performance review. Let me know what your thoughts are on these. And if you ever have this or are you playing with this right now, let me know what it feels like and do you agree with me? Hit me a comment down below. So this has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.